Hello YouTubers, welcome to Destination Lego and welcome to this Lego City set review. So this is the airport fire truck and that is set item number 60061. This is for ages 5 to 12, comes with a piece counter 326 and currently retails here in the UK for £24.99. That's from the Lego store or the Lego store online. Okay, so this set comes with two instruction manuals. We can see instruction manual one and instruction manual number two. There are a total of three bags um, to build this set. And you can see that each bag builds its own section of the actual airport fire truck. The first instruction manual is a lot thicker, has a total of 77 pages of build. Whereas instruction manual number two has 21 pages of build. Okay guys, so that is the instruction manual. So now let's take a closer look at this set. Okay, there we go. So there's our first look at this set. And I think it is again, another awesome looking Lego set from the Lego group. So very good detailing, very good use of the colors on this. Um, obviously you come with the main airport fire truck itself. There are two minifigures as can be seen here. Um, two firefighters, a female firefighter and a male firefighter. Then we have this piece here which is representing a engine from an aeroplane which is obviously on fire. Um, and obviously the fire truck is coming to deal with that situation and put those flames out. Okay guys, so let's take a 360 view of the airport fire truck. Okay, so let's take a look at that 360 view. Obviously starting off with the side view there. We'll have a look at or a closer look at some of the detail in a minute. We'll see onto the rear of the vehicle. Around to the other side. And then that front shot of the vehicle there. And finally finishing back around to where we began. Okay, so we now get closer to the set, but first of all we will start off and have a quick look at those two minifigures. Okay, so first up we have our female firefighter. So there we can see the front torso and front leg printing and detail. Um, if we spin her around now, we can see that rear or back torso printing. Obviously also see the firefighter's helmet that she's wearing there. Okay, so let's just remove that helmet. Okay, so there we can get a better look at that face printing. Obviously she's wearing um, some lipstick there. And it is only a single-sided printed face. Okay, so that's our first minifigure reviewed. So let's take a look at the male firefighter next. Right, so there's our male firefighter, and again you can see that front torso and leg printing. We spin around now and have a look at the rear. So there again you can see that rear torso print in there. And again, the same fire helmet as the female firefighter. Okay, so let's just remove his helmet. Okay, there, now we get a better look at that face printing. And again, it is just a single-sided printed face. Okay, so that's our male firefighter. Um, let's take a quick look at the aeroplane engine, which is obviously the damaged engine, which is on fire. Let's take a look at that now. Right, so there is that aircraft engine, which is obviously detached from a aeroplane and this is what's obviously being tackled by the firefighters through that airport fire truck to obviously put those flames out which are on top of the engine there you can see it's obviously well alight um, the front fan here in the engine does spin so we can see that that's a separate piece which just clips in place here then obviously at the top we have our detachable um, flame pieces but that's it for the engine. 
Right, so next up is the actual airport fire truck itself. And like I said at the beginning of this video, I think this is a very impressive looking um, vehicle from the Lego City range. Um, quite a lot of detailing on this truck all round. Um, if we start from the top here, we obviously have this main hose piece, um, which is obviously controlled from inside the cab. Um, hopefully you can see there, there is the um, blue translucent water piece. This obviously can come out of there. Um, so we can have it obviously just like that with the hose down or even that hose can be rotated and obviously face that way if you wish to do so. So put that piece back in um, and that does rotate 360 and go all the way up and over so it can go into multiple positions to obviously tackle those various fires. You can see obviously see all the lighting detail, um, the emergency lighting, blue lights around this vehicle and also at the rear of the vehicle so if we work our way down the side of the vehicle now um, everywhere you see these yellow pieces on the side here these are actually compartments which do open so they just simply lift open like so so if we open all three of those okay like that um, and what this provides us obviously is um, two things first of all on the front compartment here, there is actually, I'll get it out from the other side, a little crate, and inside that crate there are more accessories. So we have breathing apparatus, um, the mask for the firefighter, and there is a small, again, translucent blue water piece. And I'll show you what that's used for in a second. Let's put that there. Um, in the rear section here, I'll try and get some light in there that is actually the engine and engine detail in there and um, what i'll do in a second is i'll take the camera off the tripod so i can show you that in a bit more detail um, obviously here you would have spotted this but this is the hose piece which obviously can be detached and obviously does pull all the way out it's obviously on that string there which represents the hose pipe okay so we can see that there so Going back to the accessories in this crate here, so the translucent blue water piece can fit into the end of that hose, like so, and then obviously that could be held by a minifigure who would be tackling the fire. Okay, so down also, just below that hose down there, um, that's obviously a that one obviously but that is a printed piece there so that's obviously your gauges for your hose um, operating it water pressure etc um, where we're in that position as well you can see up here um, there is a wheel up here that's going to be obviously to get into the water tank um, on the firefighters truck it's static it doesn't come off or anything that's just purely for display purposes only and again with our little accessory crate here this just simply slides back in along there and obviously these can then just be closed back down like so okay so now just on the cab so again this can be turned to the rear face like that and how we get into the cab this all is on a hinge mechanism here at the rear so this just just simply lift up like so and then our minifigures can be seated inside the cab there and again I'll show you that in a second with a bit more um, closer up detail okay so now looking at the rear of the airport fire truck um, obviously you can see the number plate detailing down here um, there are some lights again blue emergency lights down here and obviously red rear lights back here there are a couple of accessories so there we have an axe and here we have a saw these do come off they just simply clip into position there just pull that off there you can see that piece there and exactly the same for the axe um, that again comes off too and you can see there obviously a closer look at some of that light detailing going around the top of the rear end there and also from this shot here you can start to see some of the detailing um, across the top of the vehicle itself Okay, so it's a very quick look at the other side of the vehicle because it is exactly identical to the first side that I showed you. Just show you again that all these 
compartments do open up and there obviously you can see that crate again it's accessible from both sides of the vehicle okay so now the front shot of the vehicle and if we just again zoom that out there let me just bring this forward a second again you can see the shot across the top of the vehicle um, there again some of the detailing on the front of this vehicle you can see the lighting light detail there we can just start to see and obviously through the front of that cab um, steering wheel there um, so I'll just lift up that cab okay guys so that's what it looks like with that cab lifted and open you can just make out there the steering wheel um, but I'm now going to take the camera off the tripod so that we can have a look inside and a bit of a close look at some of the detailing Okay, so where we are now off the tripod, so I'm just going to show you some more that detail a little bit closer up. Just run along the side of the vehicle there and across the top. As you can see there is some really good um, use of pieces here to do some of the detailing to this vehicle. Okay, so like I said, this spins round. We lift the cab piece up now, it's on that hinge mechanism. Actually now we will get a better shot inside, so there we can see some of the controls in there. And again, this piece here is a sticker, and that piece there is a printed tile, which is the same as that piece there. We'll see our steering wheel there, so we can see where our two minifigures can be seated so if we just put those into position now okay so there we get to see now with those two minifigures now inside the cab of the vehicle and they fit in there very nicely there is plenty of room in there so we can shut down that cab and if we just spin that round and have a look from that angle Again, we can see the two minifigures in there and in position. Okay, so just going over these compartments again at each side. So if we lift all of these up on both sides of the vehicle. Again, there is that crate inside there. So like I pointed out before, that just simply slides out. Again, there we can see those accessories. You can begin to see some of the detailing inside as well. So over on this side is where we have some of that engine detailing. I think they've done a great job of putting that in there. Hopefully we can, uh, we can see that. Oh, apologies guys, that's me. I've just hit the focus button. Or the zoom button rather by mistake. Um, but yeah, there we go. Okay. Right, there we go. That's my review of this set complete. So this is the airport fire truck from the Lego City range 60061. Um, my personal opinion on this, I think this is a great set and a great representation of an airport fire truck. I think this will look fantastic in anyone's collection and certainly within anyone's Lego City. Okay guys, hopefully you did like this video. If you did, please give it that big thumbs up for me. Um, as always, leave any comments, feedback, questions down in the comments section. I do endeavour to reply to every single one of them. Um, and if you haven't done so already, please do go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And I look forward to seeing you all in the next video. Cheers!